That should be going crazy. <laughs> that underground cat. Damn. Big dog status, Bill Hubble. A ball in his mouth for my brothers. Go your bag, told the. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy 36J, and we are back with another fire banger video. So, in today's video, we are going to be traveling over to St. Louis so we can go to Underground Tuning's um, legal play that they're having on September 7th, which is this Saturday. So, this can be like my first time, like, really vlogging out all that. So, I'm probably gonna do like two separate vlogs, like me driving up there and kicking in, and meet people, see up there. I'm gonna do like a vlog of the day of the. Um, so it's probably gonna be two videos, but this is gonna be part one. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers, man. Let's get it. And I got the six baddie right here. I got everything packed up. So we finna head over to St. Louis. It's like 10 hours away, so it's not too bad. Cool little drive, but we gonna vlog on the way up there. All right, I got the flame tune loaded all on there too. So y'all know, I think that video, it's like six something in the morning. So somebody's gonna be pissed off. It's not that video. Not that start. Oh yeah, this is gonna scream, bro. So I guess this is like one of the first times I'm like really traveling on my YouTube channel. So this is like a I thought it's gonna be like a fire ass event because this is about to be the biggest legal pit in the Midwest. Like hopefully I can meet some of the creators that I like to watch, like Fast Life Nick, SRT Len. Uh, I think Mo Rack's supposed to be there, maybe City Boy, but yo, this legal pit is about to go stupid. But we are gonna hit the gas station because I'm at half a tank right now. So we're gonna hit the gas station. I'm gonna throw some gas in the car and then we should be on the road. All right, guys, so we hit the gas station. About to do our first little fill up over here in the town by me. Um, I'm not gonna have a tank, so it's gonna fuck around and take like, probably, hopefully like $30. So we're gonna see how this goes. This, be, this also like my first little trip, catless as well. So let's see how like my MPG goes. My eyes look, bro, I literally like just woke up. It's tired, man. I'm tired. But I'm going to go inside and grab me like some juice. Uh, I got my little snack bag that my wife made me. So shout out to you, baby. I love you. Man, Shotty was mad close to my stuff, man. That shit's going to help me get a haircut. Up. It's fucking the verdict is done. Let's see how much. 31. That ain't bad. About $30, like I said. All right. Got me my two little Gatorades. I already got my snacks. But the car look good, man. This car gonna get dirty as hell from driving. That's like 600 something miles. But the car look good. So we gonna pick up the camera once I hit like my next little stop, which will probably be in the next day or something, or whenever I get gas. All right, let's see the range that I got. This is all gonna be highway miles too. So let's see how what the range is. Full tank, it's probably gonna say two something, like 260. Oh, 354 range? Nah, the six baddie cutting up. She acting crazy. But I'm gonna pick up the camera at like my next stop or if some crazy shit happens or if I see something. So pick up the camera whenever the hell. All right, y'all. So we are now in Arkansas. This is our second stop, our second fill up. And the verdict is here. Let's see what it is. 32 blood clots. Jesus, make it 33. Let's see if I can do it. I'm right there, I'm right there, I'm right there. Bro, I cannot mess this up. Perfect. But the car still looked good. It, it got, bro, like it was raining while I was driving and it got hella dirty. Like you can't see it on that side, but I got like, you see the streaks all over the front. But you come to this side and the car look hella ashy. Like my wheels got dirty, like, bro. The car got dirty, bro. The car got dirty as hell. Like, look, I like, I just washed this month, bro. I just washed this thing, bro. This should be pissing me off. But we got like six hours left, so we pretty much crushing the ride now. It's pretty easy. Granted, it's all daytime driving, so this is pretty smooth, though. Who said the, who said the Catalyst cars can't get good range? Boy, look at that, 400. Let me see, 22 miles per gallon. Thank God, I'm sort of kind of saving gas. I be, I be filling up like whenever I get to half. So that's kind of how I do it, but yeah, y'all. But I'm like mad hungry, so I'm probably gonna find like a McDonald's or something, grab me some fries, some shit like that. So we are going to try to find some food real quick. All right, y'all, so we finna go in this McDonald's, but I'm about to try to order that shit in Spanish and see if I can fuck with them. So let's see it, let's see. Hopefully, hopefully they go with it. All right, let's see, I'm finna, I'm finna drive through, let's see. Let's see what they
Nada, tá lá só eu. Tá, ah, tá lá só eu. Tu habla espanhol? Não. Nada. Okay, can I get a large fry? Fresh. Large fry? Yeah. Uh, that'll be all. She didn't go with it. She could be confused as shit when she got up there. I'm gonna like Spanish, my first language. I'm trying to get it to where like I, I want somebody to say yes they speak Spanish and then I'm about to start talking regular but we're going we're going to definitely try to get somebody with that but I'm about to hit the road we like five hours away so we ain't too far I'm over here playing with, I'm over here playing with these charger Doing that definitely dropped my miles per gallon, so fuck me, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess everybody in Little Rock be trying me now. Hold on, because I saw her recording. Hold on, let me see some. Oh, yeah, we cutting up in Little Rock. Hold on. Oh, yeah, then he get off at the exit over there. That little car back there. I'm just losing gas as I go, bro. Oh, my God. All right, y'all. So we are back at the gas station now. Um, why is the gas pump not going? Hold on. Let's see. They got this striking ass motor right here on this Durango. Let me show y'all. They better do a swap with that thing. They got the motor in the back. You know how motor that is. The motor in the back. I'm getting gas now, so we finna see how much this takes, man. This is damn near like my third time filling up, bro. This shit is just fucking it's crazy and crazy, but we like three hours away, so we gonna see how far we can get with this tank of gas. Cause I've been cutting up. I've been cutting up with the car. I got a clip from somebody who's recording me when I was uh, cutting up shooting flames. I'm insert that right here. <laughs> Like in the middle of nowhere like it's nothing around here bro so picking the camera wants to see how much gas we've used oh blood clots what was that bro it seems like every time we stopped we've used this much gas like around like 30 dollars so i can get it 30 oh oh i'm right there bro i cannot mess this up i can oh i was one off bro my ocd's gonna kick in all right, it's probably gonna be like 500 range. Let's see how this go. 500 range, 500 range, give me 500 range, give me 500 range, give me 
five, give me five, give me five, give me five. Come on. Damn, 420. That was close. Let's see what the MPGs are. 23, so it's getting better, it's getting better. It's gonna go down probably as soon as I get up there. Oh, look at the little plane up there flying. Look at what they're looking like from the movie planes, like I was with cars. All right, y'all, but I'm gonna get back on the road. I'm gonna try to thug out these last like three hours. I think I should be able to, be, I think I should be good, but I'm gonna try to thug out, ooh, I'm not even recording me. I'm gonna try to thug out these last little three hours. So we are gonna see. Get y'all a little acceleration onto the highway. Throw it in the sport. y'all so we just got into missouri so we like two like two and a half hours away but yo this is a crazy like accident up here let me show y'all god damn that truck did some crazy shit damn damn he must have ran off the road or something that shit crazy as hell but I'm like two and a half hours from where I'm gonna be at, like my hotel over there. So I still have damn near a full tank of gas, but it's been a good job so far. The job went by really, really fast, but I'm gonna pick up the camera once I get like a little bit closer to where I'm gonna be at. So I'll pick up the camera once I get there. Here I go, fucking fucking with a damn uh, Camaro. He just did a fat ass pull next to me. Let me see if he'll do something. catching me he is not catching me all right y'all but we are like 30 they're like 30 minutes from uh from st louis right now so tonight i should be heading over to the uh to the underground too and like um to their shop and all that to go kick it with them and see the shop you know what i'm saying and just just get good vibes but i guess this video will be titled as a me going to the underground tuning headquarters so that's what this video will be about me traveling up here and then going to the headquarters to see like the behind the scenes. But I'm gonna pick up the camera once I get over to my hotel. All right, we got a, we got a wide body. I think it's a wide body scat up here. Let's see if we can get in the play. Oh, 
y'all. So we just got to St. Louis. I'm, I'm just, ah, oh my God, I cannot talk. But this is how the six baddies look right now. Look disgusting, bro. Like these bugs are crazy, son. Like it's dirty as hell over here. All this, all this. Like the car is just mad dirty, bro. I definitely gotta find a car wash either like later tonight or something, I don't know. But I'm about to, but I'm about to grab something to eat real quick and then we're gonna head over to the underground tuning shop. So let's go do that. All right, and there y'all see it. Got that underground cat right there. Got them GTRs, bro, SRT Jeep. What's that, a GT350? Got some cars outside though, no cap. Got Jordan in the V6, we got a med right here. This might have been crazy. Oh yeah. I got more updates for you, bro, on the transmission tune, so. Oh, yeah, nah, we gotta see that. <laughs> we gotta see that. All right, Charles, y'all see we got Ahmed, the man, the myth, the legend, Jordan, the man, the myth, the legend. So, y'all, they just drove the, the six baddie for the first time. So, how, how, so how's it feel? Uh, best sound the V6 I've driven. Uh, right. The transmission tune, it's night and day It difference. works, I'm, I'm telling you, it works. Uh, the, the flames are ignorant. <laughs> Bro, ignorant? <laughs> we developed the advanced verbals for all the cars that we tuned, and that was the gnarly. <laughs> I gotta say, like, holy shit, man. Yo, on the, it made me jump, and I'm used to it. <laughs> yo, it, it feels like you can fit it to the floorboard. Oh, yeah. yeah you can oh, fit yeah. it to the floorboard. The car we did development on, on the uh, stage two side, I mean, it, it didn't sound nearly as good. It sounded like butt. But that sounds... Sounds like a 370Z. It's a, it's, on a, it's, it's a big, it's an American Z. That's exactly yeah, right. what it is. Right. It sounds like a big old uh, 370Z. So, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, we got a great one out there with the flame tune on it now. Oh, that's a one. My boy Danny had one just like that. And he signed Phoenix. Free him. will come in uh, hopefully next seven days. I literally called about Ooh. the tuning devices today. So, we ordered tuning devices for Nissan Infinity stuff. Uh, they've been on order for over a month. Um, I finally, I called them, I've been calling them every week. Um, every time I call, it's like they're like somebody's on vacation or whatever over at, uh, at our uh, suppliers. But like, give me my damn devices. So uh, hopefully we'll have them next week. And uh, once we have the devices, then we can uh, release the Nissan Infinity Tunes. Get That's to rocking and rolling. Uh, yeah, man, Nissan Infinity Tunes are going to be really exciting. They're, they're going to be I on can't point. Wait. I can't sure. I can't uh, Honestly, if you come by, we might have you come by later tomorrow night. We'll maybe... We'll warm that car up and we'll try to make that shoe fly. It's yeah. a great car. So y'all get a, a preview of what the flames look like. And I'm not going to lie, 
the Z Flames do look better than the, the SCAT, the 5, 7, and the B6. Do, do they hold it a lot better? Yes. Oh, yeah. so that's real Mainly life. because, so, Hellcats have what's called wide band on two sensors. Mm. The Z has the same thing. The problem with the SCATs, the 5, 7, and the V6 is that they have narrow band, which are cheap sensors, mm. which makes it a lot harder to hold planes. To make them shoot, it's just hard to make them hold. Okay, that makes so, sense. Yeah, so basically, to extend on what he's saying is, uh, the computer doesn't know what the actual air fuel ratio is. Mm. So whenever we, whenever we tell it, hey, do this, well, the sensor, what we're asking is out of its range. Mm. The only car that has that sensor that can read a wider <laughs> range of what we ask it is the Hellcats. That's why uh, they have super burgers. And Nissan Infinities, all the Nissan Infinities that we support have that wideband sensor, which makes our the dude from the Bengals that you tune. Yeah, uh, he, he don't he don't live too far from me from where I originally lived. Since I, oh, okay. I heard his shit in person, <laughs> I went on leave. I thought I thought the fake one bro was crazy. I, he flew past me. That shit was just. You guys know what else has wideband sensors? What? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be stupid. Uh, a verbal tune or a flame tune on the McLaren? Y'all did it with the C8, right? Uh, oh, wait, 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 you were able to do more tunes with the C8. Uh, the C8 is a tricky pony in itself, so I, I don't think I can. Uh, oh, yeah. That should sound crazy yeah. right there. Uh, okay. uh, the C8 was a unique. We got a lot more learning to do with the C8, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we have to get it to done, do it successfully. So the reason being with the C8, I'll tell you what it is. It's it's a limitation of the software. Mm. The C8 uh, hasn't been tunable for very long. It's been out for four years. Uh, the ECU was literally just cracked, what, like a year ago a on year it ago. by yeah. HP Tuners? Yeah. And it's missing so many tables for the tuning world. I mean, mm. the transmission is not even tunable. So what? You, yeah, yeah, you can only tune the engine. The transmission is not even touched. So like the most power you can make on a stock ECU on a C8 Corvette is like, 750, 800 horsepower, I think, before the transmission hits a torque limit, goes into goes into limit mode. Yep. Right. Uh, so it's missing a lot of tables that we need to adjust to get the car to do what we want it to do. And it's not necessarily that we're not capable. It's it's more or less the tools that we have access to are very limited. That's that's kind of what it comes down to. Also, the C8 has a very special uh, AI. It's called the neural network. Every even the Dodgers have AI. Problem mm -hmm. is. <coughs> The AI in the Dodgers, aka the neural network, is programmed to help you achieve your goals, like what we want yeah. to do. Correct. The Corvette, <laughs> it still wants to do what the factory <laughs> wants it to do. It, it so it'll, party, yeah. it'll fight, it'll fight us yeah. sometimes. Mm. So, so it, that's frustrating. Yeah. So essentially, the tune is encrypted in multiple spots. So we we have access to this area. Mm. Well, you got these other areas that nobody has access to because it's part of the AI system in the background. We change this, and hopefully it stays. Otherwise, when it does system checks, well, the the system, stuff in the background will sometimes can override the tune. Damn. Yeah. And we've heard that not not with us, but we heard cases of people with cams. Mm -hmm. It'll be On like, a C8? yeah, we, three weeks later, the car will just start doing its own thing. It'll go back to stock. It'll, too, try, it'll try to go back to stock on yeah. its own. It'll How? untune itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'll, yeah. It'll, it'll, itself. It'll so it'll detune itself completely. It'll literally go back to stock. It'll slowly. <laughs> it'll slowly work towards. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that is. Yeah. So I'd be pissed if my car already <laughs> went back to stock. Yo, basically, yeah. if you reflash it, it resets it. But yeah. nah, the, that the is AI and Global B is very smart and. Uh, mm -mm. Luckily, this car, kind of like the Dodges. This car will help you achieve what you wanted to do. Okay. I can't wait to see what you do with this. I, I'm already knowing. Because I remember we was on live when, when we, <laughs> we talked. We got my stock for it already. So oh, yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm not saying, when we was on live and you saw about the, the ZR1 and the McLaren, yeah. I, had a, I had a feeling you was, you was cooking something. I'm like, he's, so I'll, he's I'll doing give, something I'll like give y'all an exclusive on James Page first what we're going to do to this car. All right, man. Let's see. Uh, so we already contacted the company today. We're going to do the uh, 600 LT top mount exhaust with the spoiler. So the goals have flames shooting out of here on this car. Oh my God, that's going to be um, crazy. Eventually, we'll do the 600 LT front rear bumpers and mm -hmm. uh, side skirts as well. We already got down pipes in. Was that, uh, was that what I heard when you pulled up? Uh, you... No, that, no. That's uh, stock? That's stock. That sounds crazy stock. It was like, boom, boom, boom. that shit's No, yeah. Um, mm. No, stock is decent. It's a decent tone. Yeah, it don't sound bad. Yeah. Um, That's nice. Did all this carbon come with the car? Was like, yeah, yeah. This is MS. So, uh, you know what MSO is? Uh, nah. 
It's McLaren Special Operations. So yeah. See, I ain't that fancy. Yet. The Don't lady worry. that owned this car, she oh, she added extra options that you couldn't just add. You have to mm. request it. So it's like she so, built it like online she, type yeah, shit. Yeah, mm. so she custom built it at the dealer. But yeah, she custom built the car. Very nice spec. So she did every <coughs> single carbon option you can do on this I car. I see. Everywhere well, I actually, look, there's carbon. Some of them are not even options. Some of them you got to get from MSO. So like, for example, I've never seen a 570S with this front bumper. Oh. This is full carbon fiber. I've seen some with the mirrors. Mirrors are carbon fiber. <coughs> If you look in here. Oh, that's yeah. carbon. Yeah, so if, even if you look all the way down in here, mm. all that's carbon. Uh, side skirts are carbon. These that's are pretty it. common to be carbon. Yeah. Um, I see the caps are carbon, like the, yeah, the, the wheel caps are carbon. Um, even the clamshell. We're getting this re-clear coated because this was a Florida car. Um, mm. But this is kind of rare. This is very rare. The whole rear bumper, rear diffuser being carbon. This is, that is very rare to see on a 570S. And this is one of the MSO parts itself. That's tough. That is tough. And I was actually, I wanted to lower the car at first, but... I think it looked good, like, this right height. I yeah, that, but also, the front bumper's like $20,000, so... Mm -mm. I would hate to let the front bumper. <laughs> nah, $20,000 so, for the bumper? Yeah. That is OD. Car, I mean, unless I order uh, a factory one that was just plastic and painted, but... True. Nah, this is perfect. Yeah. It got even got the speckles in the paint with the black. Yeah. Nah. Yo. Yeah, man. So it needs some love. It ain't one hundred percent perfect, but you know, I mean, if I'm a thrash on it, why buy a perfectly clean one? Exactly. But this it got tough. all the crazy options, so it sound good. When you pulled out, I was like, yo, that shit, that shit sound pretty good. Yeah. So. Mm mm. Yeah. Right, I'm trying to figure out how to start. All right. Which one is it? The unlock button. Wait, oh, it ain't got, it ain't got no remote start? Nah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you don't get that for 200 grand. Damn. It actually doesn't even have a parking gear. What? Yeah. Let me see. There's just neutral in the e brake. Just I'm neutral. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. I know the doors go up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was close. You there. Damn. <laughs> okay. It feels good too. Like it don't. It don't feel like. It, I don't feel like I'm like I'm crammed in here. No, it ain't terrible. Mm -hmm. you hit the active button down there. This right here. No, no. Uh, where is that? It's like it's lit up. Too. Oh, that's uh, Waki, you call it? Yeah. yeah. That's the M4. Oh, cool. I'm going to catch you boys later. We'll All right, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Hell yeah. Appreciate I'll see you tomorrow. Cool. Sir, Hell yeah. We got some cars right, over here. We got, we got Dylan. We got Cody so, here. Cody? So, Cody? What's going on, bro? How you doing? Pretty good. This is Jaden, 36J on YouTube, Instagram. Hell yeah. I just watched the video with, um, you did the power pack on the, on the Grey Hell. I just watched that shit. That shit was tough. Thank you, thank you. That shit was tough. Thank Hell you. yeah. We got some cars in here. We got a little bit of everything. We do, we do, man. We do a little bit of everything. So, uh, a lot of the imports are obviously on the heavy motorsport side, but the, the Dodge stuff uh, is all underground. Yeah, so, that's uh, tough. We, so, we have a full shop, uh, 10,000 square feet. We have an in ground alignment lift. Oh. It goes in all the way flush. The cars goes in, no scraping, nothing. We can do custom alignments, whatever we need. Uh, all the lifts are brand new. The oldest lift here, I think, is like four years old, five years old. That's that's still new. Yes, sir. That's still new. Uh, here's the Porsche. Uh, yes, congrats on this. Same day that Jordan picked up the player, I picked this up. So this is beautiful. Thank you. This is tough. Yeah, I mean, it, it's already good modded. It, it took less than a week, so we already put it on the dyno. <laughs> yeah, we already put it on the dyno. Got a baseline earlier today. Nice. Uh, now we're going to pull the rear bumper off. Is it uh, rear wheel? It's all wheel. All wheel, right? All wheel, yeah, yeah, it's all wheel. Uh, no, be, be a beautiful. That car's too loud for. <laughs> You got uh, the red interior? Nah, no, that's nice. Yes, sir. That is tough. Uh, it took me a while to find the car with all the options. Got panoramic sunroof, panoramic sunroof, 
red interior, center lock wheels. Mm. Uh, the white tail lights are just beautiful. Yes, man. I've never Love seen that. white tail lights in person. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, they're just that look good. Taillights. That look good. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Um, and then it's, it's already getting modded, so uh, it's going. <laughs> it's getting Boost Logic titanium uh, valve Ooh. exhaust, uh, and then uh, intake manifold plenum and uh, white pipe. And then I got intercooler and turbos on order. That is. Shit, I, I should have said turbos. <laughs> no, <people> know. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be just full bolt on stock turbo <laughs> yeah stock turbo stock turbo yes, sir. Stock turbo. nah that look good the carbon yes, oh my god yes, yes. Sir. congrats yes, sir. this is thank you thank you that is tough yes sir and then uh, we got lens card yeah, lens uh, uh m4 yes. walkie yes sir the ecu is out at femto we're, we're getting it unlocked and then uh hell yeah we're, we're once it gets back we're gonna be doing a custom tune on that car and We'll have it rocking and rolling. The purple he chose was perfect too. Yes, this sir. is just like his other one. Yes, sir. Got the white seats in there. So the car is wrapped. I think it's originally red. It was red, yeah. yeah this is my so I'm a g I like German cars. I've never like honestly, I, I really don't like American cars. I'm more of a German import okay. type of person. Okay. Like this is one of my dream cars. Like I'll choose this over a cat any day. Because <laughs> I, I like I like racing and I like doing that stuff. I like, mean, so like I, I will say this. Uh this car has what like Eight nine years of technology <clears throat> over yeah. over the Hellcat Hellcat design. It, it was designed a long time ago. But well, these cars are new, and besides, uh, the Germans kind of have experience of building pretty stout turbo cars. Yeah, so that go that make that crazy power helps, too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Kind of helps back them up. Yeah. Um, and then we got the Super here. This is getting tuned tomorrow. Is this the same one that was on your IG? Yes, it is. So this one uh, made eleven hundred horsepower. Um, last time I was on the dyno. That's a big ass turbo. What size turbo? What size turbo is that? <laughs> I don't remember. But it's like 82, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> 80, 80 something millimeter. Oh my god! But um, I'll wait for the compressor to shut off and then uh, okay, so, so you can hear me clearly. All right. Yeah. So this Supra we tuned it last time. Um, customer um, did the, he built the car himself? I don't want to take any credit away from the guy. Uh, did a really good job. I uh, brought it to us to tune it. Um, the car has a Cody Phillips Racing Motor ECU. Turbo was uh, just. Yeah, the car means 11. <laughs> what is it? 1109. It's actually up on the screen. 1109. 1109. Damn. Yes, sir. Uh, but he was not happy with that. He's like, well, he, he promised. Selfish. He, well, he promised himself <laughs> that his car, he won't stop until he reaches his goal of 1250. Oh, he um, could definitely do it. Yeah, so I think tomorrow. We, um, we're, we should be able to hit 1250. The problem is we, we maxed out the wastegate, so we kind of mm. we uh, did some trickery that we should be able to get that 1250 no problem. Style BB Motors for us, yes, man. Sir, yes, sir. Appreciate you. Uh, let me show. Let me show you uh, Jordan C7, man. Oh yeah, let's see that. Right, let yeah, that. Lens M4. This is the. Oof, that's a baddie right here. All right, so we got this is Jordan C7 Corvette right here. Um, we got the that angle angle kit, drift suspension. That's um, tough. Yes, sir. This car should be ready after our event, unfortunately. Damn. Uh, the car did drop. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a Chevy thing, so it kind of dropped the valve <laughs> literally two days after he bought it, uh, which I mean sucks. It wasn't his fault, but yeah, it's a part of the lifestyle. Is. Yeah, I mean, this uh, I've seen it happen a lot of LS and LT cars in the past. So mm. um, two days after owning it, I can't really blame him for it. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, engine's getting built. Um, should be ready next week. Uh, the drift suspension is ready to go. Angle kit, the whole nine. Once it's back That's together, tough. then it goes on the dyno for some real numbers. That is uh, insane. Let me show you the cylinder head. Here we go. This is where it dropped the valve right here. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, so it just kind of, this is actually, oh, well, check out the oil pan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it literally blew up. Oh, dude, there was, uh, there was <laughs> look, 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 this is lodged in there. I can't even pull this out. That's a piece of the rod right Yo, there. Yo, that literally blew up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it did. I seen that clip of it on, a chunk, I think it was Cody's bro, story. A chunk of the piston was literally on top of the control arm. That's how bad it was. Well, did it have, where did it happen? Was it? He was, just on, he was just on the highway. He was like, hey, he did one rip. He was healing <laughs> off. I mean, fire from underneath the car, <laughs> smoke. Smoke out the highway. They, they had to completely stop the highway for like a oh few minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah, it, it, it got bad. Uh, there nah. was fire coming out from underneath the car, out of the tailpipe, and like over the windshield. That's how bad it was. Thank God to it to save it. Right, right. Yeah, no, I mean, luckily, the car didn't burn down. So that, that's Yeah, that's, that's a plus. Thank yes, God. Sir. 
That sounds like a box yeah, of cereal. So, <laughs> so the <laughs> animal is full of uh, engine metal. So uh, this is. This oh is. my god. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh, the piston and everything else that ended up in the intake manifold. Damn, so Chevy, nice. come on. <laughs> that uh, is insane. I mean, I guess if you're going to go out, might as well go all out. Right? Uh, yeah, facts. She <laughs> literally went out with a bang. Yes, sir. Mm -mm. That underground cat. Damn. That shit sounds. That might be one of the, like, from Idol, that might be one of the loudest I heard. We've seen that one in my boy BJ. He's seen with uh, Jack Fab. But that's loud. The Idol sound like it's camp. y'all and that was the tour of the shop there goes ahmed's gtr right here next to the six baby bro that is just that is just insane all right y'all so that should be the end of today's video yo it was so cool like and like it was real good to like to meet the people who put the product on my car so jordan ahmed yo i really appreciate y'all the whole underground tuning team big shout out to y'all man but that should be for today's video. I'm going to pick up the camera tomorrow because I should be going back over to the shop and I should be kicking it with uh, some of the other creators and some of the other boys that's going to be there. So it's going to be a good time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy 36J and I'm out. Bow.